1950, Sir Henry Tizard, the Chief Scientific Advisor in the Ministry of Defence, became fascinated by newspaper stories about UFO sightings. Sir Henry told MOD officials that the subject shouldn't be dismissed without first undertaking proper scientific study on the matter. Because of his involvement, a small committee was set up, incredibly known as the Flying Saucer Working Party. The committee reported in June 1951 concluding that the UFO sightings can always be explained as misidentifications, hoaxes and even delusions in some cases. The recommendation became apparent that no further government resources should be used in the investigation of the UFO phenomena. But the very next year, RAF pilots and military personnel witnessed UFOs during a NATO exercise. These UFOs appeared to be capable of extraordinary speeds and manoeuvres. Some were tracked on military radar. By 1953, the MOD decided all UFO reports should be investigated. And it's worth remembering that a UFO refers to an unidentified flying object, not necessarily extraterrestrial life. While the MOD investigations were aimed at determining whether there was any evidence of threat, they were thinking more about the Russians than the Martians. The theory was that some sightings might involve Soviet spy planes or bombers probing British airspace to try to evaluate the effectiveness of their radars. And the British government's position was virtually identical to that of the United States, where UFO sightings had been investigated by the United States Air Force since 1947 in what later became known as Project Blue Book. Of around the 20,000 or so sightings in the United Kingdom that the programme investigated, 5% of all of these remained unexplained. In one fascinating case, the Cosford incident took place on the 30th of March 1993, whereas multiple sightings came in from around the UK over a six hour period overnight, witnesses including military police at one Air Force base and a meteorological officer at a second. The latter describing seeing a vast triangular shaped craft flying slowly over the base, making a low frequency humming sound before suddenly accelerating away many times faster than any military jet of the time, or even of this time for that matter. The report was completed in 2000 and made public in 2006 saying that we might be dealing with exotic atmospheric phenomena and the MOD scientific and technical intelligence personnel believe that, if harnessed, these might be able to be militarised. As the executive summary of Project Condigan's final report says, it is recommended that further investigation should be made into the applicability of various characteristics of plasmas in novel military applications. It's the ultimate dirty secret about UFOs, since a natural phenomena could be weaponised would be hugely attractive to any military nation. In 2009, after 60 years of official research and investigation, the MOD axed its UFO project in a wider series of defence cuts and no public announcement has ever been made. Every year there are hundreds of reports of unidentified flying objects entering into British airspace with the RAF regularly scrambling aircraft and since 1953 there have been over 10,000 reports of alien abduction within the British Isles. You have to ask the question, what's going on?